Well, this morning, the state could see some new changes come to school bus safety. Yesterday, Governor Mike DeWine and the Ohio Department of Public Safety announced a number of upgrades to come. That's right. Carmen Blackwell is joining us now from Shaker Heights with more on these changes. And the one thing that we noticed was not on the list, seat belts. Carmen. Right, and we know that that's huge because it's been a controversial issue. 17 recommendations were actually made during this announcement that were on the list that Governor Mike DeWine and his working group actually recommended here, and we did notice that seatbelts were not mentioned. Now, however, DeWine and the working group stopped short of mandating that they be worn for safety preferences on their school buses. DeWine cited concerns about having to evacuate students in the case of a fire, which could take more time if they're belted in on the seatbelts. After hearing from the experts, hearing from our bus drivers, looking at the data or the lack of data from states that have mandated seatbelts, and listening to school districts who have tried pilot programs on their buses, we became convinced that a statewide mandate of seatbelts on buses is not the most effective use of government resources to keep our kids safe. So there you have it, but there were also a list of other recommendations that were made. Again, 17 among those were crash data and things like more bus driver training. And again, you can also see a big one here that we've seen across the state is also recruitment. We're standing out front of a bus lot here in Shaker Heights, and you can see the sign is saying, please, now hiring bus drivers. So again, uh, lots of changes and recommendations are soon to come. Right. Back to you, Maureen. And that shortage really has impacted a lot of schools, especially yeah. this year. Carmen, thank you so much. Dave. Well, thank you.